Hello, in this video today I will discuss two very important educational pioneers who have reshaped or made critical changes in education as we know of today. I will discuss a brief summary of their life, their personal views on education, and how the pioneer has influenced education. The first pioneer I will discuss is Johann Herbert, and then the next pioneer I will discuss is Margaret Bancroft. The first pioneer I will discuss is Johann Herbert. Born on May 4, 1776, and died on August 14, 1841. He was a German philosopher, and most importantly, he was a founder of pedagogy. As a tutor, it sparked his interest in educational reform in which he made many contributions. Later in the century, his ideas would be replaced by newer views by John Dewey. This pioneer influenced educational thinking by two ways. There are two books based on his theory, Herbationism, which is set up with two works. There is one in 1802, Pezzoli's idea of an ABC sense of perception, and two in 1806, Universal Pedagogy. His thinking was based in five steps to advocate five formal steps in teaching. The first is preparation, a process of relating new material to the learned to relevant past ideas or memories in order to give the pupil a vital interest in the topic understanding considerations. The second is the presentation, which is presenting the new material by means of concrete objects or actual experiences. The third is association. Through assimilation of the new ideas through comparisons with former ideas and consideration of their similarities and differences in order to implant the new idea in the mind. The fourth is generalization, a process especially important to the instruction of adolescents and designed to develop the mind beyond the level of perception and concrete the idea. The fifth is application using the required knowledge not only purely in a utilitarian way, but also that every learned idea becomes a part of a fundamental mind and an aid to the clear, vital interception in life. His personal views on education is that he wanted to emphasize the connection between the individual's development and the resulting society contribution. He believed that only formalized religious education could as he believed, provide the framework for a moral and intellectual development. He believed to I he believed to appeal to learners' interest, and he advocated literature and history stories instead of what was promoted at the time. He has made many contributions, but most importantly, within the field of influencing children and teaching children. He raised influence to a field by raising important questions about the role of critical thinking and literary appreciation in education. The second pioneer I will discuss is Margaret Bancroft. She was born in Philadelphia on June 28, 1854 and died on January 1, 1912. In 1883, she founded the Hadfield School for the mentally deficit and peculiarly backward. Under her influence, the medical profession began to awaken to their responsibility to correct defects and disabilities in children. Her views on education. She believed that special children must have special schools for them, with well-trained teachers who use materials adapted for those children's capabilities how this pioneer influenced educational thinking. Children with developmental disabilities in the 1800s were not provided an education. In most times, they were sent to large institutions and provided custodial care. Under her influence, she began to think that children with these abilities need proper education. Bancroft created a specialized program for physical, 
mental, and spiritual growth for each student. She also believed that each student should have proper nutrition, personal hygiene, exercise, daily prayers, sensory and artistic development and lessons suited for that child's age. This pioneer would also build the path for what we know as special education today in modern America. There are many pioneers in education that have reshaped modern education as we know of today. The two that I have mentioned are Johan Herbart and Margaret Bancroft. Each made different paths in education and have reshaped education. Thank you for watching my video.